Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, I am going to show you how you can solve the CTF boxes using Sniper Framework. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. So first of all, really, really thank you guys for all your support. And if you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to uh, join my community and get help in solving uh, get help in your doubts so you can check out my discord server the link is in the description below so guys uh in the previous video i had covered regarding a cool framework uh, a pen testing or a pug bounty framework which is named as sniper so like i had shown you uh, the process of installation and some basic part and in this video i'm going to show you how you can solve some easy and the medium boxes uh, boxes in the sense like the uh, capture the flag events or capture the flag boxes you can call like for example blue or anything like that okay which are available on hack the box try hack me or one hub so with the help of this particular tool okay so and also guys this video is just to show how capable this particular framework is and even uh, you can use this tool to solve some capture the flag uh, events but uh, it's always a better way to do it manually rather than doing something automatically right so the first thing like we'll divide into some parts like easy uh, easiest easy and medium like i'll try to solve some three boxes with the help of this particular framework and also guys if you are watching this video straight away like uh, like if you haven't watched the previous video so i'm going to leave the uh, video description a uh, video link in the description as well as in the cards you can check them out from there so uh, let me go back to my setup so this is my parrot os so this is my pen testing os uh, right now and this is a meta exploitable so this is i'm considering this particular thing as uh, you can call something like an easiest box because it is pretty much easy like anyone can do that right so i found out the ip address so this is the IP address of uh, this meta exploitable machine. So let me try to ping that. And since I'm able to ping it, I can start attacking that. So let me do a sudo, right? Sniper and uh, hyphen T to specify the target. And let me hit enter. You don't need to specify any mode. So by default, we are going with a basic mode. Okay, some basic mode. Okay, and guys, the advantage and there are some drawbacks with this tool as well. So in the meantime, I'll try to explain them. So as we discussed earlier, this tool has integration with almost all the popular exploiting frameworks or tools. You can consider that like that. Okay, you can see it is checking for DNS information since it is not available on internet. So there might not be any DNS information as well as some subdomains as well. So it is doing a TCP sc scan here and you can see it found out just a services that are open and that are running right and it is also starting some intrusive scans like I had uh, discussed in earlier videos or let me show you that so nmap hyphen t4 for the time lapse hyphen a for doing all the scans hyphen b hyphen and you can specify the IP address okay and you can specify the verbose as well if you want to okay so this is you can consider it like an uh, intrusive scan like it tests through lot of scripts and stuff right so let me go back you can see it is running in the verbose mode on you can see it is trying to find out some ip addresses and stuff so let this process uh, continue guys it took a while like uh, since as i told you in the previous video it is going to take a bit of time in order to do that so i'm now also going to explain them so you can see it is doing some intrusive scans or uh, some more uh, kind of thing or some more advanced scans kind complete scan kind of thing and you can if you are familiar with meta exploitable you can see that it having it is having a vulnerable version vsf tpd 2.3.4 right and uh, you can see uh, it is trying to run the meta exploit ftp version scanner to identify the version exactly and it found out that VSF TPD 2.3.4 is running on that machine and also you can see that uh, like it is it had uh, started an auxiliary module of Metasploit and you can see it it is able to see that it is vulnerable and now the exploit 
is completed you can see the running vnsf tpd 2.3.4 backdoor exploit and you can see that if you can read the information here you can you can observe that we got the shell so if i simply do it who am i i'm root here so this is a simple thing so easiest box like uh, metasploitable is like basic basic box uh, we can solve out there okay like not only this vsf tpd 2.3.4 is vulnerable there are some other uh, vulnerable services as well so as i told you services so this particular thing uh, sniper is uh, more known to exploit these uh, vulnerable services like if you take some boxes in hard or anything like that like to go to some website to find out the credentials hidden credentials kind of thing so in those cases this sniper uh, framework is uh, uh, will unable to solve those boxes okay like uh, if you consider it like easy boxes like uh, this uh, blue uh, this meta exploitable or anything like that it is able to exploit it because it is a straightforward step okay so so now the easiest is done so i'm going to hit control c and uh, i'm going to do just a minute so i'm going to go navigate to my try hack me and there is an easy box uh, meta a uh, blue so i'm going to copy this thing so I'm going to uh, do a bit sudo open VPN try hack me and uh, the file is thm.ovpn let me hit enter so let me initialize uh, like you can see the initialization sequence completed so let me do an IP IPA to find out yes you can see there is an interface running up for me right so now we'll try to find out this ip address so this is the ip address let me copy that let me go back and let me do a simple ping and let me check whether i'm able to do that or not yes i'm able to do that so now once again we are uh, welcome let's welcome the sniper framework once again here so sniper so yep hyphen t and let me paste it and let me hit enter once again let me enter the password as i told you guys most of the most of the tools that this particular thing is going to this particular framework is going to use require pseudo privileges so it is better uh, to have the pseudo privileges okay if you are not a root user but in my case if you can see i'm clearly a non-root user so satvik is just a normal user here in this uh, machine so let this uh, process complete you can see it is even running some meta exploit modules so let us find out uh, it is going to try to find out some version you can see it is able to find out some version like uh, it is trying to gather some information regarding the os and stuff so if you know if you are familiar with this uh, uh, this particular box so it is uh, vulnerable for ms17 ms17-010 okay so it is a famous uh, eternal blue it is also called as a famous it is an ex famous exploit uh, which is eternal blue so you can see uh, it try to find out some basic information since there are some uh, i think there are some shares out, out there there are some few shares out there available out there so it had done some SM, smb enumeration so i had also detailedly made a video on how you can do an smb enumeration uh, uh manually you can do check them out like it try to uh, in, uh show you the result everything you can see try to find out some shares that are available and stuff like that okay so and now it is running some nmap script so nmap script you can consider it like a bit intrusive kind here okay so guys and it took for a while and it had done some uh nmap scans and it had even ran some few uh, meta exploit modules uh, which are consists of some auxiliary and some exploit and i was at finally i was able to get an exploit sh uh, a shell a meta better shell on this particular blue machine as well okay so and guys an important mistake uh, an important thing that i need to tell you is like uh, while running this tool it is going to make a lot of noise okay so a lot of noise in the sense a lot of traffic and sometimes your machine might crash okay so a couple of times you need to terminate and you need to restart that so that the, this machine works properly fine okay so i faced this particular issue while uh, doing while demonstrating this process and also guys like as i told you like if there is any any box uh, which consists of a a factor like where you can get shell or initial shell with the help of uh, what you call by exploiting simple service 
then uh, you can make use of this particular sniper in order to understand what's going on and you can even get a shell there and the thing that you need to remember is that you'll only get a initial shell only okay so previous escalation is your part to be done so that is it guys for this video like i had uh, covered only two boxes like to show you how the things get happened so so if you want to see more videos on the tools or if you have any suggestions or any of any of your favorite tools that you want to see on this channel you can mention them in the comment section i will try to look them and also like always you can check out the forms and you can even post your suggestions there so that is it guys for this video i hope you really enjoyed this video if you really liked it make sure you like it and do subscribe and do share so that my content could reach more people this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you